ADEOS-2 Advanced Earth Observing Satellite 2 was an Earth observation satellite launched by NASDA, with contributions from NASA and CNES, in December 2002. Its Japanese name was Midori-2, and it was the successor to the 1996 mission ADEOSI. The mission ended in October 2003 after the satellite's solar panels failed. Topic. Mission overview The three primary objectives of the mission, as identified by NASDA, were to regularly monitor the water and energy cycle as a part of the global climate system, quantitatively estimate the biomass and fundamental productivity as a part of the carbon cycle, detect trends in long-term climate change as a result of continuing the observations started by Adios the project had a proposed minimum life of three years, with a five-year goal. Topic. Launch The mission was originally scheduled to launch aboard AH-2 rocket in February 2002. This was postponed as the Japanese Space Activities Commission would not launch without having three successful missions aboard the new HIIA rocket. The satellite was successfully launched from Tanegashima Space Center Pad YLP-1 on 14 December 2002, aboard H-2A202. Other payloads on board included the Japanese Microlabsat and WEOS devices, as well as the Australian FedSat. Topic. Failure On 23 October 2003, the solar panel failed. At 2349 UTC, the satellite switched to light load operation due to an unknown error. This was intended to power down all observation equipment to conserve energy. At 2,355 UTC, communications between the satellite and the ground stations ended, with no further telemetry received. Further attempts to procure telemetry data on 24 October at 0025 and 0205 UTC also failed. Topic. Investigation After the power failure, JAXA NASDA's successor formed the Midori-2 Anomaly Investigation Team. Analysis of data received before transmissions ceased showed that the solar panel's power output had decreased from 6 kW to 1 kW. The investigation team began surveying the mission to establish whether the failure was due to a technical malfunction or a solar flare. One hypothesis was that debris had impacted the satellite's power harness between the solar array and the satellite bus. The harness was a core of wires enclosed in multi-layer insulation. The debris impact was theorized to have caused an electric arc. The mission officially ended at the end of October 2003, with JAXA conceding that the possibility of restoring the operations of Midori-2, was extremely slim. The mission, which had cost approximately 70 billion yen $570 million, was only able to recoup an estimated 300 million yen through insurance. Topic. Instruments The satellite was equipped with five primary instruments, Advanced Microwave Scanning Radiometer AMSR, Global Imager GLI, Improved Limb Atmospheric Spectrometer 2, ILOS 2 Polarization and Directionality of the Earth's Reflectances Polder, and Sea Winds. These instruments were designed to monitor Earth's water cycle, study biomass in the carbon cycle, and detect trends in long-term climate change. The mission was established to continue the work undertaken by ADEOSI between 1996 and 1997. Topic subsystems In addition to the five main instruments, nine avionic subsystems were allocated to the bus module. 
These were the Communication and Data Handling Subsystem C and DH, Inter-Orbit Communication Subsystem IOCs, Mission Data Processing Subsystem MDPS, Optical Data Recorder ODR, Electrical Power Subsystem EPS, Paddle Subsystem PDL, Attitude and Orbit Control Subsystem AOCS, Reaction Control Subsystem RCS, and the Direct Transmission Subsystem DTL. The C and DH subsystem received and decoded the satellites tracking control command signals and acted as a processing interface between the instruments. It was capable of adjusting settings on the instruments, such as temperature and voltage. The IOCs was used to communicate with data relay satellites see data transfer. The MDP device formatted mission data to be sent via the IOCs, and would process it into a data packet. The ODR was a large volume storage device that used an optical magnetic disk system. The EPS provided power to the satellite subsystems. The PDL managed the satellite's solar panel, and transferred electrical energy to the EPS. The solar panel was capable of generating 5 kilowatts using 55,680 cells on a jointed mast. The AOCS was used to establish the attitude control following the satellite's deployment from the rocket. It was subsequently used to adjust the satellite's attitude, orbit, and solar paddle. The AOCS was equipped with a number of attitude sensors, including a control standard unit IRC, an Earth sensor ESA, and a fine sun sensor assembly FSSA. .The RCS was used to generate propulsion power for attitude adjustments after deployment and control orbit using data from the AOCS. Topic. Data transfer ADEOS-2 transferred data to and from Artemis and the Data Relay Test Satellite DRTS. The Artemis connection transferred information over a 26 GHz Ka band link for payload data and a 2 GHz S band link for telemetry, tracking and control data. These signals were then downlinked to the Earth Observation Center EOC via feeder link stations and the Redu station. ADEOS-2 also sent mission data directly to NASA stations, which routed information to bodies such as the EOC and sensor-providing organizations. Topic. Footnotes Topic. Sources